All right, welcome back. Today we're going to do the surf, uh, my favorite shot. Uh, we're going to do some real basics, uh, and then we're going to do a little bit more advanced stuff. Now there's going to be a few videos on surf because we're going to talk about slice to kick, generating extra power. But first off, we're going to talk. We're going to talk about grips. Okay, so grip on the surf. When you first start playing tennis, I don't care what grip you use. As long as you're getting the serve in, that's what matters. But once you get the serve in, then we need to start improving this game. So we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to use the continental grip. Most club players hate the continental grip, but the thing about this grip, it gives you so many options when it comes to serving. Not only can you hit it flat and bigger flat, you can hit the slice and you can hit the kick. So we really want to get the knuckle on the right panel like that. Like you're shaking hands or you're hammering a nail or you're cutting something in the kitchen. That's what we want to have right there. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so serve. Uh, most of the time in tennis, in fact, all the time, the first thing I look at when I'm looking at a player is, is feet. I want to have a good foundation and then we work our way up to grip and contact point. So if, you, if your game ever is going to pieces, think, what are my feet doing? And they're probably not working for you. So first off, we're going to start with, with his feet. So his uh, left foot is going to be slightly right of his target, but not super, but super, not a lot like this because that's not how my knee wants to bend. So I want to be like this and my right foot needs to be shoulder width apart. And if I had to, I could stand like this all day. I, I don't want to, but I could. Okay? I don't want to be too far apart because then I can't transfer my weight. I don't want to be too close because then I'm teetering around. So, just like this. Okay, I'm going to put the racket and the ball together. And then this doesn't matter where it is. Whatever you think is coolest. It could be up here, it could be there, it could be here. Whatever you think. It's just an idiosyncrasy of swing. Whatever you think coolest. I always used to think this was coolest when I was a kid, so this is what's, how my serves developed. Okay, so when the left arm goes up and places the ball in the air, I don't chuck the ball in the air, I place the ball in the air. I want to place the ball a little bit higher than I can reach. Uh, I don't want to chuck the ball in the air. I don't have to wait for it. And I don't want to do it too small, so I have to rush my swing. A little bit higher than I can reach and at one o'clock, okay? When my left arm goes up, my right arm goes back at the same time and the racket goes back behind my head. Uh, so, if, you, if you've never played before, this is a good little move to practice. Oh, that's a bad toss, but uh, you, get the, you get the picture. Okay, so the first serve we're going to try is we're going to try and serve it without moving his legs, we're keeping his perfect balance, and we're just going to try and get five or six serves in without, move, without using his legs. Most people can't wait to start using the legs and they want to jump and yeah, do all this stuff, but you need the basics first. Uh, speaking to most of the juniors out there that are ready just to smack the ball as hard as they can. All right, so here we go. Got my feet, racket and ball together. I'm going to make like a smiley face, and I'm going to go ahead, put the ball in the court. Go one more. Put the ball on the court. One more. That's good. Okay, so there's so many different ways we could take this video now. We could talk about grips. We could talk about slice and kick. They're going to be in a different video because if you, you serve, there's quite a lot to it. I don't want the video to be 20 minutes long and have you guys bored out of your mind. So we're going to concentrate on his feet. So there are different ways to move his feet when we start introducing his legs into the serve. Uh, if you watch Roger Federer, he keeps his feet very still. And he goes ahead and he drives up without moving his feet. If you watch, uh, say, uh, Rafael Nadal, he brings his right foot behind his left. Both of them are perfect. They, they both work. Uh, the, the one thing they all have in common is they get the left foot coming up over this line into the court. So as long as you're getting that, whatever footwork you decide to use, as long as you're bouncing and using that left leg over this that's what, that's what we're looking for. So when you take the left and the right arm up at the same time, like the smiley face, what happens is it gets your shoulders kind of in line. They're kind of in line like this. What I call the U of poo, okay? Not a real strong position, okay? This is a, this is a bit like how my mom throws a tennis ball. Don't want to throw like my mom, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to try and get into a trophy position, what I like to call the line of power. And it's a line you can draw from your elbow all the way through your shoulders to your, to your, tip, to your tip of your uh, left hand. And this, what, this is the line that we get. Okay, that should be a straight line. Okay? And what I do that is when the left arm goes up to toss the ball, the right arm goes down and it makes my shoulders shift into this position. So instead of the smiley face, now we're going to go left arm up, right arm down, and we're going to bend the legs. We're going to get in this position. From there, we're going to drive from the legs the right arm on the right shoulder up into the air, past the left, 
and then snap the ball down into the court. Uh, a lot of people want to talk about wrist snap on the serve. If you hold the racket with a loose grip pressure and you do all this kinetic linkage, then the, 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 uh, the wrist is going to have to snap. That's just the way it works. So I'm going to try and hit a few serves. I'm not warmed up. So it's going to feel a little rough, but uh, we're going to try and get in the trophy pose and we'll try and see if we can get that left foot up over that line. Oh. Let's go one more, or a couple more. Those work very good. Got the yips on the toss, Harry. Yeah. Left arm up, right arm down. Left arm up, right arm down. One, left arm up, right arm down. This has been a touch of tennis. My name's Adam Wood. Uh, next video is going to be on uh, some different types of surf. So, uh, see you then.